Ex-servicemen in Nigeria have taken to the streets in Abuja to protest the non-compliance to the approval given by President Mohamed Buhari for the payment of their debarment allowance by the Defense Ministry. Our correspondent files in this report. These protesters defy the rain and converge on Nigeria's Defense Ministry located within the city center. Former servicemen, widows, and families of servicemen who have passed away are many of those that have completed their 35 years of mandatory service to the nation are all here. The decision to spread the money to three to five years. Why do you want to spread this money three to five years? You can imagine, look at, look at them. Are you sure that these people Hold, sick, tired, military veterans will be alive for that three to five years that you are, you are spreading the money for. That is one of our, uh, our, our, our objections to that decision. And based on that, we have written, written series of letters, reminders, in respect of this. And nothing... No feedback from government. Some of them expressed their displeasure at the non-payment of their allowances by the government, despite approval given by the president for the disbursement of over 130 billion naira. The president has approved 134 billion naira to be paid to us. But as we speak, this administration will, will soon be winding, wind, winding down its activities and mandates, and yet we are hearing excuses that this payment is going to be stretched you know within three to five years and we are asking question why should that be when those that are just living service are being paid this money at once and we are their seniors and so this is not acceptable to us they are calling on the defense ministry to live up to their responsibility and respect their years of service why it is really painful is that our younger ones that are retiring after we might have retired, they have been paid this money. So I want to, the question that it comes to mind is, what is the criteria they are using to pay those our younger ones that are our, our, our juniors and we are not being paid? You understand me? That is the question that should come to mind. Uh, because I really want to, is it that they are dividing the military or what? I'm very, very disappointed because that money they're supposed to pay my husband. They didn't pay my husband. And my husband now, he's late. And nobody to help me. So that money is for him, for his own suffer, that he suffer, because he suffer a lot. So that money, they're supposed to release that money to give me. It is hoped that the federal government will listen to the plight of this ex-servicemen who sacrificed their youth to serve the fatherland for peace, unity and progress. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.